I just discovered another new food and I'm not going to tell you if it's a fruit or a vegetable because I'm going to leave that up for you to tell me. What do you think it is? We're going to go inside here at Tom Leonard's. It's our grocery discovery day. I am a net reader from the biblicalnutritionist.com and I can't wait to share you this vegetable and also to show a recipe how you can start enjoying it tonight. Okay, here we are. It says truckload sale. That always draws my attention and it is some coyote. So this is actually from Costa Rica. So not exactly local. It's hard to grow in our climate here in Virginia, but it's a new food that I wanted to introduce to you. It is in the squash family. So do you think being in the squash family, it's a fruit or a vegetable? Well, it's actually a fruit, similar to a tomato being a fruit. And don't forget to keep watching. I'm gonna show you how to fix this for dinner tonight. It's very hard on the outside, more hard than your usual squash. Not as hard as your winter squash, but more hard than your summer squash. So now that I've told you what it is, let's look at the nutritional value and why you should have this in your diet right away. So the nutritional value is this conquers everything. It has your antioxidants, as your vitamin B as in boy, as in be happy. It has your vitamin C. It has your potassium. Many people who get dehydrated or aren't eating well, especially our seniors or our children, they need more potassium in their diet. So we need to make sure we have that. And as usual, it's going to have low calories, but hey, you know what I'm gonna say next. It definitely has the fiber and the protein. So this is a definite must for your diet. Now, it has a crunchy texture, kind of like an unripe pear, and yet a mild kind of cucumber flavor. So definitely would be a great addition to your diet. Now you may not find this at every grocery store, but you will find it at your specialty stores. And it's definitely worth looking for and finding and adding to your diet because it is a delicious treat. So you can actually cook this almost any way you want to. You can pickle it, which means you could ferment it, which would be awesome for your microbiome. You could saute it, you could grill it, you could bake it, you can roast it. And every way that you decide to prepare it is gonna bring a little bit different flavor to this fruit. Remember, it is a fruit, it's not a vegetable. So go ahead and quiz your friends and ask them if they think the coyote squash is a fruit or a vegetable. Now I went ahead and just spritzed them with some olive oil. I'm gonna to top them with some pepper prior to baking and we are not going to salt them until afterwards and we'll talk about that later. Now they're gonna go in the oven for 15 minutes and then we're gonna let them cool in the refrigerator for one hour. So now that they have finished baking, I've just salted them. I just sprinkled on some salt so they can release their extra fluid. You don't wanna salt before you bake because they can be dried out and they can burn easily. So we always salt this type of vegetable, actually it's a fruit, after baking. So now we're gonna let them cool and then we'll put them in the refrigerator for one hour and then we can make our salad. Now to finish up our salad, we're going to use this Immersion Blend food processor. I'm going to put a couple cloves of garlic. We're going to put our bay leaves in there. And if you need exact measurements, it would be about a fourth of a cup to a half a cup of bay leaves, depending on how strong you want it. We're going to add two ounces of olive oil. And you could use a couple different cheeses. You could use a cottage cheese, a feta cheese, and I'm going to use goat cheese. There we go. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper. And that was our pepper. We'll add in some salt. And we're going to put our top on there and hook this up. going to be delicious. You kind of see we have kind of green texture. I'm going to just lightly, I'm going to lightly add in, you can't really lightly add in, but I'm going to add my tomatoes, but I'm not going to blend it too much. Okay. 
And I just want a little bit of a salsa effect for my tomatoes. There we go. Oh, perfect. All right, mm, yum, yum, yum. And yes, I have already sampled it and it is delicious. So then we're just going to scoop this on top of our serving plates, right on top of our squash. And this will be a serving that I can't wait to enjoy. Now I didn't do the full size of the recipe because it's, I'm not serving very many people. You can see the tomatoes kind of made it a little bit more runny, but there we go. Let's just top it with a little bit of pepper. And let's just add a little tomato there. And a little tomato there. And we have a delicious lunch or salad to a regular entree. There we go, we have a delicious salad right on top of our chayote squash, which is a fruit topped with our goat cheese, our basil, and our tomatoes, and this is going to be delicious. Just really quick, because I just tried it, these are some kale chips, and this is the perfect dip for kale chips. Okay, well thanks for watching this grocery discovery. I can't wait to read your comments. How did you like trying this new squash? Have you had it before? Maybe I'm the only one it's new to. Maybe you guys have been enjoying it for a long time. Don't forget to subscribe to this, whether you're watching it on Facebook or on YouTube. I look forward to reading your comments. I read every comment on YouTube. And don't forget, we're on podcast now, Biblical Nutrition Academy. Be sure and check us out there to learn even more. All right, can't wait to read your comments. How did you like this? How did you like the recipe? Don't forget, I'm Annette Reader from the biblicalnutritionist.com.